Welcome to another episode of um, the Christmas special here on Vanilla FM. And throughout this week, we've been trying different games that are nowhere, you know, near Football Manager in terms of like gameplay. So they're games that I've played in the past. Uh, I'm not really used to play the, playing them anymore. So obviously, I'm kind of getting into the gist of it as well again. So there might be a few hiccups. I'm aiming to do these episodes in half an hour chunks, but. You know, if you watched yesterday's yesterday's episode of Civilization, we got nowhere near finishing the game and I spent an hour. So, yeah, so we're just going to do half an hour of city building here on City Skylines. City Skylines is a game similar to another one I used to play. Um, you'll know about um, SimCity. Let me just turn down the volume here on my end. Um, ooh, got tweet. Ah, very nice. Okay. So, City Skylines is a city building game. Now, I forget what the controls are. Let me just remind myself. How do I twist? Hmm. I want to be able to twist up and down. Let me just go quickly into the settings. Options, key mapping. Um. And forward and back. S and W. That's ah mm. oh, R and F. Okay. There we go. Nice. So how do I rotate it? Options. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. Right. The first things first. We, we're not going to get a complete city in half an hour. So like, just manage your expectations. But we are going to build some sort of a village. Um, at the beginning, we only have one type of road available. So what I like to do is create a little bit of a loop. Uh, most cities have some sort of loop setting for their... Um, you know, income and outward. I might actually just do a little dummy road. Mm. Yeah, alright, I might just do a little dummy road to the side. And then we'll get more roads. So what I really would like to do is create a sort of in and out that it's um, kind of outward so first things I'm going to do is upgrade this to one of them and create like a one-way system in and out of the city in these big roads and then and then go with straight line roads okay so I'm gonna create something that goes out like this and something that comes in the same sort of distance but it's just, it's in the wrong direction so let's change that so I don't have money to do much more than that so let's just leave it like that and then from here I'm gonna do small roads and start roughly when I wanna get far enough away from the intersection so it doesn't mess it up. And I'm gonna do one way road down. Maybe a little bit further down. And across. I don't know what's in this area here. So we'll try and figure it out in a bit. So I've got my one-way system and then within this I'm going to build my city. I know it's not a lot of space so far but it will do for now. So I'm going to have... I'm going to zoom in is it, a little bit. Some residential down. Don't actually, can I see layers yet? 
Just add one other thing. Oh. Uh, resume game. I'd love to be able to see. Oh, there they are. Layers. Uh, no, I can't see layers yet. Okay. So I'm just going to build a nice little residential. Yeah. So we're going to go all the way through. And then in. Something like that. Like a cul-de-sac. L-shaped cul-de-sac. Um, I mean, I might even exaggerate it a bit more. And have like an exit here, maybe. Okay. We have some dead space here, but we'll, we'll focus on that another point. And then down here, we're just going to get a straight through road for some commercial and stuff. Yeah, I think that, I think that's the plan. Okay. Now, some very important things we need to do at the start is create some sort of um, power source. So we're going to put some wind turbines here. And we're going to take it down very minimalistically. Oops. Very minimalistically from there to there. And we're also going to get some water. Now, this is going to be tough because we don't have any su suitable sewage. So I think the water is going roughly in that direction. So I'm going to put the inlet here and the eco-friendly outlet as far away as possible. I obviously need to collect them with pipes. And I'm going to do a byline to the roads and connect the roads like that. For now, I'm just gonna. I'm only gonna do that this little bit. They're also gonna need power, so I'm gonna. Actually, I'm gonna give them independent power. One for you, and one for you, and then we can join that to the grid at a later stage. Okay, let's put down our first residential. To the drawing block instead. So this here is all that is allowed at the moment just to get our city going. Let's carry on. There we go, got a little first bit going. Slow it down for a minute while I look at that. Ah, okay. Okay, so now I need to build some more. So we're gonna go this way. And hopefully they'll be spawn smart enough to spawn next to rather than leave gaps. Although they left a gap here. That wasn't very smart, was it? You don't want a house there? Sure. Okay, have a shop. Uh, apparently they, they don't want houses there, so I'm gonna erase and see if I can have little shops instead. I'm not sure if they will build actually. Now, industry-wise, we are going to need... I don't 
like how they left that gap. It's stupid, isn't it? Um, Industry-wise, we're going to have to build pretty soon. Now, I'm going to leave industry. I'm going to build some roads separately in this corner of the city. And do... I'm going to do a loop out and I'm going to have to do it backwards but okay okay now let's fix these roads so I'm going to have a little industrial loop it's going to destroy some of the forest but hopefully that will be fixed soon and this is going to be for our in the industry let me pause the game for a second while I work on it. So I'm going to have the inside populated. I'm going to have to draw some power. For, actually, I could just... Uh, I don't have enough money for a turbine, do I? No. Okay, so let's see if I can get some energy to reach from here. And... I'm actually going to make sure that only this little corner can have. And I'm going to bring water up this road and down this road. Okay. Industry. They might need a bigger, a bigger spot. Come on, industry, you can do it. Mm. Let's get more houses going. first industry popping up. I'm not sure if it's going to get any electricity the way that it's spawning at the moment. Ah, there we go, there's a neighbour. Okay, nice. And that means we can do all of this stretch here. Hopefully they'll build in a way that electricity will spread to all of them. Yes, they are. Very good. Got plenty of available electricity for everyone. Now, obviously, we'll connect those back into the grid once the residential electricity starts to drain. Ooh, it's hard to see in the night, isn't it? Okay, got a bit more, a bit more demand for residential, but there's still some spots available, so we'll let them use that up. Making a build historical. We can now make a zone historical to preserve the history appearance. Aye. I don't have zones available yet though. So Right, we're gonna need more industrial. So let's spread to this side of the, of the street.
Okay, and we're gonna look at our first residential, sorry, commercial high street on both sides. I'm gonna have to spread water this way, but I don't have money actually, so that was a bad move. Let's remove this quick. Okay. Hopefully these guys will still have water. Yeah. Nice. Um, okay. That's great. Let's carry on with our housing spur. How are we doing for water here? I can spread to the other side of the street, which is great. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna spread to the inside of the street. Try to get that income back in. Lots of income, get some money so we can do some things. demand. Let's just see what the water situation is. Okay. So we can definitely spread to this side of the street. Oops. Might even demolish this little business here, taking up space. for bigger businesses. The pop-up. We're making some cash now. That's good. Can I adjust how much I tax people? No, not yet. All right. So the idea is to then make this road go around the whole city uh, if we had a big city, but we're probably not going to have time to have a massive city like that. Now let's look at the water situation again. I could put some houses down the side of this cul-de-sac. Oops, like that. I suppose... Oh! got quite a few things coming up that's great so right so let's think about um, taxes I'm gonna increase taxes to 11 that also means I can take out some loans if I need to Let's start putting some of these down. So we're going to need a recycling center. I'm going to put a recycling center out here. I can't fit it down there. Okay, out here, recycling center. I'm not sure if it needs water. So let's expand our water down to it. I'm going to have to join up some of these turbines, so bear with as I do from that to... Oh no, I don't have enough money. Aha. Uh -huh. Now I do. There we go. So that should be enough to fix our problem. So we've got our 
first recycling center is going to stop picking up trash from people. We're going to put some medical centers down as well. Once we have some money. Actually, we can take a, um, we can take a loan. No biggie. And I'm going to put this somewhere in the community where there isn't anything growing yet. There's something growing there, isn't there? Right there anyway and we're gonna have community okay so we can have this one and I'm gonna put it here and all these children can go to school. Fab. Okay, now time to expand our water system. So let's just try and fill the blanks with not much space in between. So we're gonna have some residential down here. And I'm going to put some some shops down the outside edge on the way to on the way to the factories. And as soon as I have some cash, I'm going to connect this third. Yeah, we're going to need it. I'm going to connect this third. Um, we need to connect this third power supply to the system. So, um, is there any way to just basically increase the budget so we get some more? Just for now, cheat the system a little bit. Yeah, just, just able to cheat the system a little bit to get some more going. But it won't last forever, so I'm gonna make sure that this is built as soon as we have money. struggling again with electricity <laughs> okay come on surely we're nearly there oh there yeah okay so now we should have enough electricity for everybody for the time being we are going to need some more industry so let's just check on the water situation here I can put some factories, some smaller factories down the side. And I can definitely put some more here. Residential demand. Uh, I can spread over to this neighborhood as well. speed up a little bit. It's got good enough coverage, I think. The school, surprisingly, doesn't have enough coverage. But, um, don't really understand why. Time to make some more shops. Let's cover this area with shops. 
and I think time to make some more some more roads for more industry. Uh, that way they don't mix. Okay. They're still covered by water on this side of the street. Do need to do as a matter of urgency is see if I can get another of these turbines going because we are running out fast. Oh, it's because I didn't realize it's because this po this um, pole has been moved when I built the new road. So hopefully that will go away. All right. Great. Uh, okay, electricity has been reestablished. Let's just take a look at the new facilities we have. We can get a firefighting station. We definitely going to need one here. And I'm gonna jam it right there. And then we're ha gonna have to wait for uh, the police station. We're gonna stick another turbine up here next to this one just to relieve our electricity issues. side of this cul-de-sac. Uh, okay, so they're getting electricity through that connection, so that means I can demolish this line, which is great. out a new loan so let's see if we can take out a new loan and now we will be able to build a police station I'm gonna build it in the heart of the community actually no that's not an efficient way use of space um, let's build it here to the side so one there and we'll leave it. We are going to need another school, so I'm going to put one of these out. And we're going to put it here, actually. put it there and we will get some wa water down these veins and we're gonna get some more water up here and we're gonna fix this issue of the man that we have at the moment with some more shops and stuff
Oh, I could set policies like um, like preserving power. That will cost us five C per building. I'm not sure. If I just turn it on for a second, we'll see the effect on the cost for us over time. So our income is decreasing, as you can see. And if I parallel that with consumption, consumption's coming down. Okay, so it seems to balance itself out. Now, consumption is very risky at the moment, so I'm going to stick another turbine up here. Just to balance that out and it seems like even though we have a recycling center some of these aren't getting their rubbish collected they might need they might need one of these they might need a dump so I'm gonna stick a dump here next to this space and the dump should also help collect some rubbish Water consumption, we got plenty of water availability still. As far as pollution goes, let's just have a look at the color of the water. It's going that way, so not affecting our um, Not affecting our water consumption, not polluting our water consumption. So hopefully we'll be able. It's because it's a one-way system. I think it takes a while. I might make. Ah, I know what the issue is. This road here. I need to make this uh, this road two ways. Because otherwise the trucks are having to go all the way out here. Okay, yeah, I need to make this two ways. As well as having a link between these two. There we go. Okay, so now the trucks aren't having to go all the way out. They'll come back in. So hopefully that will help clean some of this rubbish up. We have some crime in this area, so I'm going to stick a police station there. Oh, that's 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 not a police station. This is a police station. Um. So hopefully the police will take care of those criminals. And we have a college available, high school. Okay, high school down to the side here. And everyone's happy. So our half an hour is up and we've been able to construct a little village that has little more than, you know, a residential slash commercial area, plus a fairly heavily polluted industrial area with some fire coverage and police coverage, water distribution, electrical distribution, and some high schools and medical stuff. Actually, I don't have a medical post for these guys up here, so I might... Ah, oh, I can't take another loan out. Oh well. 
yeah, so you can kind of see that it takes a while to build a big city and a com complex city. With tra we don't even have transport or anything like that going on. But it's a very interesting game. And to be fair, um, City Skylines, I, I never really got... Um, yeah, I played for a while, a few years ago, but um, I guess my first love was always um, Sim City because that's a bit more. Um, I suppose it's not as accurate as City Skylines in terms of realism, but um, it's got a lot more gameplay goals and stuff like that. Also, another one, I might try to do this as a. I can't promise anything, anything, I won't even say the name of the game, but there's another game that I also played previously, and I might do a special for Christmas, who knows, who knows, I might stick it into this week's special episode releases. But yeah, thanks so much for sticking around to the end, if you haven't played City Skylines, there's so much, that, like literally there's loads of DLCs that I, I don't even have, and you can buy obviously new plots of land, as we've just been alerted that we can at the moment, so we can go further south or whatever um, and there we go we've just expanded our map um, you can get you get down to the minutia of how to control um, intersections and stuff in traffic as well so let's say if I go to this one here and I forget what it is I think it's is it cars Where's traffic traffic and Oh, there's something about about it that I forget. No, not that. There is a way to do it, but I can't remember how to. I know in roundabouts you can do that. Maybe you can't in normal intersections. Maybe it's just roundabouts that you can do toggling in but there's also mods where you can channel in different lanes and stuff um, to different um, ah there we go so if I switch off that and turn on traffic routes junctions there we go so for example here I can switch off those and just set this up as a stop sign Similarly, I could do any of these intersections, but there's mods that you can use that will even um, Yeah, you can even do that further. I've just noticed uh, an another feature that I hadn't realized existed But anyway, there's really a lot a lot to get to get stuck into uh, With this game. So if you haven't explored it yet, and you like the sound of it Give it, give it a try and then let me know how you get on. But that's it for today. Thanks so much for sticking around. Give it a like, subscribe, and there might be one more episode of the Christmas special. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. If not, well, I hope you've enjoyed this week of Christmas specials for different games. Or we'll obviously get back to Hereford and FM. Uh, uh, Hereford FC in the FM series. Uh, that's the usual series for, the, for this channel. And we'll get back to that in the new year. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.